555 timers are so commonly used that it's likely that you'll have a project where you'll need to implement one into a circuit. Or maybe you're trying to achieve a specific output pulse but aren't sure where to start. With a monostable configuration, changing the values of R1 or C1 will directly affect the output pulse duration. Using a resistor value of 10 kilo ohms and a capacitor value of 100 microfarads, the output pulse will last about one second. But using a 100 kilo ohm resistor and a 47 microfarad capacitor will create an output pulse of about five seconds. The calculations for an A-stable configuration are a little different. Here, R1, R2, or C1 will determine the high and low durations and the frequency of the pulses. So save yourself some time and brain power by going to digikey.com slash 555 timer and simply plug in your numbers to get the answers you need so you can move on to the next piece of your design. Want to watch more videos like this? Like and subscribe.